Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadlock Project 365, episode 220. Today what we're getting to is the posterior cuff, and it's a common point that I refer to as the crossfitter's point. It's because it gets overstressed so much in the overhead position. I want to start out by showing you a little bit of anatomy. Now, that point is going to be right in this area right here, and you're going to see why in one second. If I start out and I talk about the lat tissue, okay, that's the tissue that's in my back and splays out this way, you'll be able to see it right here. So we have our lat come, comes like this and comes up this way, right? The fibers run in this direction. Now, we also have the posterior cuff. Collectively, we have what's called the teres major and infraspinatus. Now those tissues collectively come up like this, okay? So you can see these cross sections of this area Making a mess. Cross section of this area, kind of right here. Somewhere in that area, we always kind of get to, tend to get gunked up there. And it's because we have tissues that are sliding this way when we're externally rotating our arm, and we have tissues that are sliding this way as we're flexing our arm. So whenever we have an intersection like that, we have the tendency to get some, some gunked up tissues Man, I can't do anything today. So we have a tendency of getting some gunked up tissues. And how do we do that? Well, we're gonna get a, well, how do we release that? How do we relieve that? We're gonna get a ball, we're gonna spend some time in there. And look at that, it even works on the whiteboard. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that ball, we're gonna pull right here, and I got some couple keys for you, or a couple cues that might help you alleviate some of that pain. I'm gonna show it to you down on the ground first. I want you guys to be able to see, we're gonna be in a sideline position and we're gonna to try to hit that point that we talked about up there. The way I get to that is I follow my armpit up and I go out to the top end of my shoulder. You'll be able to feel your delt tissue there, that big shoulder cap type tissue. You wanna go just behind that, okay? And then we're gonna be in a position that looks like this. I'll swing around for you so you have a better idea. So you already saw where the ball was, okay? I get that ball in that position right there and I bring my palm up like this. And all I wanna do is pretend like I'm combing my hair, okay? So the movement happens with the elbow. I don't care what happens with the arm right here. So we're gonna come up, and you can see, even for myself, who's very supple, it's still hard, right? So we use this right hand or the, the top hand to modulate how much pressure is gonna be put on the ball. And all we're doing is scraping our elbow up, like if I'm taking my hair and slicking it back. I just watched the movie Grease a little while ago, so that's what gave me, gave me this cue. Guys, try that out. See how everything is. Let me know how it works for you. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.